Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day today. So I wanted to talk about Ephesians uh, chapter 1 verses 13 through 14. So let me read that really quick for you guys. In him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also having believed you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory. So um, for those of you who are new to this channel, I don't know if you know already, but I believe in once saved, always saved. And this is a key passage of scripture for that. Um, that's what we see here. In the original Greek, that word sealed used here in um, first uh, in uh, verse 13 is sfragizo. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it is attesting ownership and full security from the owner. A seal was a legal signature, which guaranteed the promise of what was sealed, meaning God put his legal signature on you the second you believed in Jesus. It was instantaneous, meaning also that it's the guarantee of what is to come, that you will raise again with Jesus, whether that is from the grave or in the rapture of the church, and we will be given glorified bodies like Jesus, which we believe will happen very, very soon because of everything that's going on in the world around us. So I wanted to bring you guys that encouragement because it really gets me down whenever I hear people say you can lose your salvation, but that is not true. God will do as he says he will do because he is God. We cannot question that. So he put the Holy Spirit into you to guide you, to lead you, and to mentor you through your Christian walk. The Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity, the Godhead three in one. So you have God living inside you to guide you. That cannot be removed. A lot of people like to argue and say that the Holy Spirit can be removed from you, but we live in a different dispensation now. The dispensation that the Old Testament, that people in the Old Testament were living in was totally different. It was not the age of grace. During the age of grace, we are sealed with the Holy Spirit. Before Jesus came and died on the cross and rose again, it was a different dispensation. The Holy Spirit could be given for prophecy, things along those lines, but it could also be removed. That is why David, King David prayed saying, Lord, please do not remove your Holy Spirit from me. People like to use that verse out of context to say that the Holy Spirit can be removed. However, we live in the age of grace where God gives freely to us his Holy Spirit the second we believe in Jesus who shed his blood for us on the cross died and rose again on the third day that is the gospel so after hearing that gospel and after having believed in that gospel in Jesus you are sealed with the Holy Spirit a legal signature cannot be undone so you guys take encouragement in that once saved always saved it is a great day to be raptured. I hope to see you guys in the clouds very soon.